Okay, next stop is the weather script. And the weather script is interesting to see, well, the weather, but it's a little bit complicated. So let's have a look. Let's first start. Just put it in there without knowing anything about it. You just say work. So weather, save. Scattered clouds three. Oh, ho. okay. In Belgium, Antwerp, yeah, that's correct. But you do not want to know the weather in Belgium. So, all the way down, back to the weather here. So it's a custom script with a label, with a cloud coming from the fonts. You know from where, but I'm showing you anyway. Cheat sheet, fonts, awesome, all right. There you can copy paste icons and we have here some coloring, okay, done. And the coloring is coming from all the way up. And that's this arc color and the white front or the white fonts here, the foreground. But it's going to execute something, a Python script. And the Python script is here, weather pi. So I try to make um, enough explanations or, or procedure to show you what you need to do. So you have to serve to that thing, fill in your city, okay? So we have to serve to control V this thing, okay? Fill in your city, Barcelona, why not go there? Barcelona, search. It's 7.5 degrees in Barcelona. And what we need to or we want to get is light rain and eight degrees Celsius. That's all we need to get. And we have to know the number. So the city number is here behind in the URL. Deny or uniform resource locator. That's URL. Control C. And then you go to city. This is Antwerp and this is Barcelona. Save. So nothing will happen. Well, let's let's wait for it. First of all, the API key is also important. So okay, check URL, city done. You will city code at the end. Create an account on this website. Create an API key free. Now I'm not gonna create an API key here, but all you have to do is sign up, tell who you are, and then you get this API button, and you can ask for an API and change it because. If nobody, if, if everybody is using my API key, which is this one, at some point in time, they will say, okay, 100 a day, and that's it. Some, some kind of uh, measurement, and it will not function anymore. So you will have to create your own API key if you're really into this uh, module and say, okay, I wanna have this all the time on my system. You better have your own API key. So if we, once ah, it's changed already light rain i believe it was light rain in barcelona if I, my memory serves okay so in the meantime while talking about it it's already changed it does say eight degrees here so let's refresh well yeah maybe a small difference might be wrong might be correct strange why there is just one digit wrong or not we can always save the config again. So this one, the config, if we save it, everything is going to be reloaded and rechanged and well, everything stays the same. Maybe we could, could look for another example. Um, Melbourne, is that not sunny at this time? Let's see, 19.7 USA, Melbourne. Let's take Melbourne, USA, sky is clear. So we have another number, this number, control C, put it in here, put it in weather pie, nowhere else, delete, save, and let's wait for it to go up. It should change at some point in time, or we can say that we save the config now. Oh, there it is already. Clear sky, 16 degrees, is that correct? Oh, it seems to be... <laughs> um, one of uh, a reason for something i don't know why 16 
is there any 16 in here in this page control find 16 it's all 17 no, strange might be an error might not be an error so anyway it's close enough it might be in here somewhere but i don't think so so let's leave it at that i do believe it's correct um, even if we see that the page here is a one-off strange probably find the answer later on but anyway so that's how you do it and that's how you will find your weather in the place you're living in you put in your city search and copy paste cheers